Hey guys, it is Fox and welcome to more random packs. Today I'm going to be opening some more comic books and cards. Yes, some more uh, Dollar Tree goodies that I uh, find every now and then. Let me know if you like this series. If you don't, I uh, probably will st still keep doing it just because it's fun and I enjoy it. Start off with the first one, which is this. Um, yeah, I'll do the pack afterwards and I'll show you the comic first. And then I got like a few just single packs uh, thrown into the mix. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's start. So this is a comic book. If it ever comes out, there's a comic book. I swear I thought this said Time to Bone. Here is the shitty insert that no one cares about, and the booster pack, which you'll see in a minute. All right, of course, we got our, uh, our good old war card, World War II, and our Elvis card, where a man is obviously helping Elvis masturbate. All right, and our comic, the first one anyway, is Bloodshot. Bloodshot, that's kind of racist looking, I think. I'm not sure. Let's see, Valiant, August number, uh, number 7. What is this from? I don't know. I don't even know what this is. Uh, this is just, it just seems to be like random comics that really have no kind of reason for being paired up with co Oh, that's pretty cool. Mega Man 5 on the NES. I think that's a NES. Yeah, that's a, that's a NES, so this is pretty old. 1992. Most the ad. Alright, so Bloodshot. Really, the point of these comics is more or less to look at the ads. It's not really to... This is your lucky serial number. C30330. Okay, well, do not detach this coupon from your comic. See contest rules and ads for information. Metal Man. There's Metal Man for you. There is Bloodshot, who looks... Weird. I... <laughs> Everything here looks weird. That guy looks like he's from JoJo's. Let's just see if there's any more cool advertisements we can look at. Some old video game ads. There's EXO, Man of War. And then this. Yeah, I know a Valiant comic. Oh, there's Flashback. I actually kind of remember this game. Here about is the booster pack. The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Trading cards. 11 cards per pack, including finger... Finger puppet. Jesus Christ. Puzzle, build a tower, pop out, and more. Yes, the Hunchback of Notre Dame, the story of a guy who was hated because he was ugly. Disney! Um, actually, I think there's more to that movie than that, but whatever. So yeah, so we got some stuff here. So yeah, it's probably just clips from the movie. So there's the Festival of Fools and dudes dressed up in, uh, in a black cape. Uh, yeah, Festival of Fools. There is a gargoyle. I think that's a gargoyle. There's a little girl who's poor, I assume. There's... Phoebus, I guess his name is. There's Phoebus. It's been a long time since I've seen this movie. Gonna, gonna be honest with you. I, I don't remember anything from the movie. I don't even remember his name. Like, it's been the, the Hunchback, I assume. But it's been a long time since I've seen this movie. Then we got, I think this is a puzzle. So yeah, this is definitely a... Oh, wait. Is it? I don't... I don't... I don't know. Uh, Alright, so there's our puzzle. It broke. Of course, because of course it did. But look, l l let's see how hard this puzzle would have been if we didn't break it. There we go. Alright, toss that to the side. Then we got the hunch. Oh, Quasimodo. That's his name, Quasimodo. So what is this? Instructions. Punch out each level. Oh, I think it's a stand. Okay. Yeah, it looks like this is a stand. Yeah, sure, I got... There's Alright, there's Quasimodo. So now you can play Dungeons and Dragons as your favorite character, Quasimodo. No, you don't want to. All right, here's Laverne. Where's Shirley? Punch off. Okay, it's another stand. I'm not doing it. Uh, here's another thing. What is this? Build a tower. Oh, okay. I guess this is like parted. So you have to find a bunch of these cards in order to build a tower. That's a way for people to buy your uh, booster pack. Coin cards. Uh, punch out coins and use them as play money. Or string them together with a piece of string to make a necklace. Bracelet or belt like Esmeralda's. That's being lazy. Okay, it's another... Oh, okay, this is actually a puzzle. So what the hell was the point of the half... Whatever. So this is actually a puzzle. It's, like, segmented. Probably have fun with that. You know, if you're a kid in the car, you, you open this pack. It, it has a, a lot of cool stuff you can uh, probably kill, like, a half hour. Or if you're very uh, incompetent when it comes to puzzles, maybe two hours. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's a neat little thing. So here is the, I assume, checklist. Yep, so this explains like all the little different types of uh, cards you can get. It's funny, we got that exact puzzle. More than likely, there's only one. Uh, story cards, character cards, pop out, yeah. And then, what is this? 
Uh, Jester's Challenge. How many cards are in the discard pile within three? Must be done before opponent counts to four Qu Quasimodo. What? Game effect. Draw an additional card each turn for the remainder of the round. You may play additional cards that have this effect. This, what? Okay, I don't know what this is. Alright, so yeah, that was the Hunchback of Notre Dame. I make fun of it, but in reality, you know what? They gave you a lot of stuff you can do in one booster pack. I mean, what I am disappointed is Johnny Quest, The Real Adventures. I actually know this show. I've seen one or two episodes. It's essentially a remake of Johnny Quest, which I don't think went anywhere. Um, it might. I think it was like fairly popular, but I never got into it, and I don't really know anyone else who was. I do, however, like the original Johnny Quest, and of course, the Johnny Quest that was in uh, Harvey Birdman, Tony at Law. All right, so let's open this up, see what we get. Oh, Confidential. Oh, you don't wanna you don't wanna look at that. Oh, we're looking at it. There we go. Uh villain squared file inventory. Is this a checklist card? What is this? Uh, oh wait, is like the entire booster pack the confidential? No. I'm confused. What is this? Alright, I don't know what this is. What is this? Card number 47. Okay, I just give up. Uh I don't know what this is. The Lost Words, and it's a crossword puzzle. Alright, Johnny Quest, Hydra. What the fuck is going on here? Like, Alright, hold on. Five cards per pack. Look for Action Quest, pop-up cards, and heat-activated Haji's Clues inserts. Heat act- okay, that's kind of neat. Wait. Uh, Dr. Brenton. We didn't get any of the heat-activated ones. Unless this is the heat act- hold on. I breathed on it and nothing happened. I think the only thing that we got that's discernible is this crossword puzzle. Let me see if I find a funny word. There's an A. There's a... Is there an S? I don't even see an S. There's an A. Alright, so that was Johnny Quest. That was an absolute disappointment. Whatever the fuck this thing is. Uh, this is a giant mutant monster from a comic book that I don't know. And it has a booster pack or something inside. So let's open it up and see what we get. I don't know what's wrong with me. So let's take a look at our Elvis and War cards. So here is Elvis... To, uh, singing to... Hey, did he pee himself? What the fuck? Here is uh, another Elvis, uh, just on stage, you know, singing. And that was uh, that was the Adventures of Elvis. Alright, so we got Abba da Zad. Abba da Zad. Abba da Zad! I don't know what this is. Uh, and there's Abba da Zad again. Abba da Zad may be the... Hold on. Abba da Zad may the, be the best thing CrossGen has yet published. Randy Lounder, the fourth rail.com. Alrighty then, so I like the art on this, that's kind of why I bought it, it's it just, I like the, the art on the cover, very weird. Um, written by James, what is it? Ooh, ooh, I like this art. I like it quite a bit, it's actually very, uh, very, uh, soft and, uh, floaty. Like things, I like when they do this, when they have, like, just the sketches out. This looks interesting, I'm gonna look into this. Uh, I like the art of it, for sure. And there's some more cross-gen comics for you. Never heard of cross-gen before. Um, see, this is interesting. I like the cover of this. But well, what we really care about is the booster pack, right? Because it's Street Fighter, the movie. You know, the movie that's so good that it's just so good. I don't even think this is a Street Fighter where the of course meme comes from. Because I think that was a different uh, M. Bison. It might have been the same. I don't remember. I, you know what? I, I, it's probably good that I don't remember. Because then I have to, uh, I'd have to remember Street Fighter. So this pack is made of, like, a very, uh, thin aluminum foil. Uh, not aluminum foil, like, plastic aluminum combo. Alright, so here's Street Fighter, the card uh, game series thing, whatever. The cards have stuck together. Alright, so Street Fighter and a lot wall of text. That's neat. More Street Fighter! This time he's blue and he's playing Metal Gear Solid. Then we get, okay, wait, this is from the video game. Hold on. Wow, they actually are stuck together. Uh, here is... Uh, what is, what's his name? Dollism? Uh, whatever. I remember playing, like, fighting him, but, yeah, whatever. So there's some Street Fighter stuff. More stuck together cards. Oh, there's Ken. Okay. There's Ken for you. There's a M. Bison versus Ken? I don't... Oh, Guile versus M. Bison. I assume his theme is playing. So uh, it goes with everything. And then a checklist card, because, you know, kids love checklist cards. Did we see this one? I don't know. That's uh, Street Fighter. Every card is just messy and very dull-looking and not impressive at all. And that is really the uh, the tragic story of these um, movie tie-in card packs. They uh, usually are just boring and dull and all-in-all 
weird. But you know what's not weird? Tentacle porn, I think. I don't even know what this is. I just saw it and I thought it was interesting. All right, let's open this up. Hey, uh, comes in a soft, uh, soft sleeve and a white backing. The good guys and tentacles and that guy whose hood is just a little too square. All right, so let's see what we got here. Kick some liquid metal butt. Apparently the 90s were all about kicking butt. That is that is uh, the legacy of the 90s. All right, good guys. This is a comic book about a woman holding up a fridge. There is a compressor. I know things. Uh, oh my god. Warriors of Plasm. So here's the here's a funny part. I actually know what this is because I have a book, a binder full of uh, not full but semi full of the Warriors of Plasm cards that make up a comic book. A friend gave it to me. Uh, so that is weird. That is very coincidental and weird. So here's a comic about people. I assume. Wow, the stapling on this is awful. I assume who have powers of some sort. I saw something just like fall out. What was that? I swear I saw something like almost fall out. All right, whatever. All right, so Warriors of Plasm, premium edition. Of, all right, War Dance. I like the art on this. It kind of looks like Castlevania. Uh, yeah. There's a Dark Dominion. L. Polgardi. Or Ed Polgardi. I don't know where the fuck I got the L from. Yeah, this one looks like a pretty boring comic, to be completely honest with you. Um, the Good Guys. That's a great name for a comic book. But of course, we got... That's just another insert. And, wait, I'll show you that in a minute. More Elvis time! Here's Elvis in a dressing room, and here's another war picture. War is hell, and it never changes. The X-Files! New series, season two. Yes, I opened one of these before, and I opened it, weirdly enough, around the time I was re-watching season two of The X-Files. Um, I have since finished watching The X-Files, and I'm waiting for the new season to go on Netflix, if it ever does. So here it is. I think we've gotten this card before. It is Mulder's sister being carried out by aliens, and it's upside down. And that is just a solid brick of cards that... Jesus. Uh, here is... I don't remember this scene. The sketches. That's neat. I don't remember this episode. It was weird. Um, Alright, here's another. Jesus Christ! It's like someone came on these cards. They are stuck together. The Hulking Alien Bounty Hunter. This I do remember. This is like the, the episode where the uh, people were like uh, in a circus and were freaks, essentially. Um, here is a mess of art. There you go. Here is a, another mess of art, but it's slightly more discernible. That's cool. Here is Deep Throat number two. That's what I call him. I don't like him. He's actually, uh, I, I kind of hate him as a character. He was essentially the replacement for Deep Throat after they killed him off. And then he came along and quote-unquote helped Mulder out. Helped. Moving on, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie, Flit Air. Six cards, yes. Uh, as I've stated before, I don't know shit about Power Rangers, but I know that's the Pink Ranger, and it's time to fly. There's that. Here is a fighting scene. What a kick! That's misspelled. Uh, here is casting... Co okay, I'm sure this is a real name. Karen Ashley, personal facts. For five years, Karen was a rhythm and blues singer. I don't care. Here is alien lineup. That's kind of neat, actually. There's a pig monster. There is the main villain. Another main villain. And CeeLo Green, but this time with wings. What was that? Uh, uh, there's CeeLo again and the pig guy. And there is a fat dude with a bunch of cum on his face. Uh, Power Rangers was an edgy movie. I don't know if you know that. Uh, yeah, I think this is the first Power Rangers movie, which I did see, but I didn't pay attention to. Um, so I don't remember anything about it. So, Wicked Star. It's actually nothing special. It's just another comic book. I don't have a good uh, finisher. Right, but it is Wicked Star from Image Comics, and another stupid insert, and another backboard. Oh shit, we're getting lucky with these backboards. Uh, yeah, never heard of Wicked Star. I know about Image Comics. There is the end of my knowledge of Vanguard. Butt kicking action. See what I meant when I said like the '90s was all about butt kicking? It really was. Uh, oh, the pages on this one are actually nice. Uh, wait, is this like another? I think I've opened like uh, one of these comics before because I remember this character. Yeah, it's. Yeah, this is probably just like another con like another continuation or prequel to the first one I got. I don't know. Very bad drawing of a super mutant. Wow, that legit looks like a super mutant from Fallout. God damn. The body proportions on that are just not good. And yeah, that's Wicked Star. But you care about the pack, right? Well, here it is. 
Maverick, the movie, trading cards. All right, so, oh, oh wait, we got our Elvis. We got our Elvis insert, of course. Here's Elvis and two people. And here is World War II cards. Look at that, it's, it's so white. All right, Maverick, the movie. So, with the rest of these packs, I had kind of a nebulous idea of what they were. For them, A few of them actually knew what they were. Uh, I knew what Johnny Quest was. I know what the, like, the Power Rangers were. I know what the X-Files are. I don't know what this movie is. I've never heard of the movie Maverick. Um, I've never heard of cards with a Z. Everything about this pack, I have no clue. So I'm going in this just completely dumb. Um, which you could argue I usually do anyway. But, uh, what kind of a friend are you? So here's a guy. I don't know who he is. I don't know what this movie is. Uh, with the up and on his... I can't even read that. What is this? What is this movie? I've never heard of it. I, you know what, I actually saw this and I thought it would be like, I thought it would be like playing cards or something. Like, I was kind of hoping it was. Uh, look for randomly packed Technochrome cards. So hopefully I get a Technochrome card. Because you know, those are worth some money. Yeah, so uh, yeah. There is, there's Maverick. I don't, I'm so confused. Okay, well there's, th this, this pack just made up for the entirety of this video. Because, uh, oh boy, there's Mel Gibson. <laughs> oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Mel Gibson. I feel like this is just the universe, like, balancing itself out. That's beautiful. Um, and there's a boat on fire. So, yeah, I don't know what the Maverick movie is, but I know the best card of the day is Mel Gibson. We pulled, uh, we pulled a Mel Gibson. Not a lot of people who open packs on YouTube can say they pulled Mel Gibson. This has been a Fox Knockton production. I hope you enjoyed.